We're on. We're live. Hello. Are we? It depends. I'm only alive when someone replies on the chat that we're alive. That's my... <laughs> Until someone says, hey, can you log in? I'm logged in. Um, Are you? But I can't see the stream as yet. Oh. Uh, Why is that, I wonder? I don't know. Well, well, there's a bit of a delay, right? Yes, I'm refreshing anyway. Yeah, you do that. Here we go. Boom. I mean, I might have got it wrong. I'm pretty confident okay, it's streaming. Okay. Yeah, I think, it's, I think we're here. Okay. Right. Can you try saying hello? Because sometimes... See, other people are saying things and I can't see them. Hold on. Who said something in the chat? Right. So, Andy is here. Oh. Chris is here. Dan is here. Okay, then. You're going to have to excuse me then whilst I redo my chat window. Bear with. Hi, everyone. I can't see you. Uh, Rachel can. Say hello in the chat, Rach. Okay. <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> At least you don't have to, sorry. <laughs> ah, how do I do this? No one save a catastrophe. I won't like it. I didn't. Okay. Now then, how does that all look? Right, somebody it say hello now. Looks good. Yeah, don't look behind the curtain, everyone. Mm -hmm. Oh, the curtain. I've broken the curtain now. Hello. Yes, well. Hello, Pantel. I think we both know that, Chris. Right, uh, oh. Hello, everyone joining uh, us. We're getting there, I can see. Boop, boop. How's that? Is that lined yeah. up? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, it needs to go to that way. Bear with. No, because the, the crossword's not far enough. It's sort of... Hmm. Uh... Oh no, you don't want to see that. You really don't want to see that. Oh, there's two of them. Is that right? That's gone completely wrong. Not yeah. that one. I think there is a scaling issue. I've there? errored. I've made a terrible mistake. Cancel. Okay, cancel. 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 So this one, I'm so sorry everyone. Are you seeing like crazy things happen on screen this time? Yeah. Oh, this is just a nightmare. Oh my God. I'm seeing it much better on my screen than you are on yours yeah, right now. Yeah, well it might get there. There's a bit of a delay. Um... No, that one wants to go away. You go away, you. Bad crossword. Okay. Oh, I think I know what's happened now. That should start to be right. I'm getting there. Bear with. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh. Yeah, oh. Oh, yeah. Not quite. It's still missing the left-hand edge. Is it, though? Give it a second. Okay. Hold on, everyone. I think we're going to be okay. In the meantime, start looking at these. Ah! Yes, there we go. Start looking at the clues. Hold on. I just Can we say that we're starting now? Are we starting hard. now? Right. Yes. We're starting now. Are we starting now? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> oh. Right. I thought I'd do some sound effects today. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Woo! Whee! <laughs> Sorry. He doesn't warn me before doing this. It's right in my ear. Morning, Kit. <laughs> I'll stop doing that now. Okay. Thanks. I guess we should... We've actually got somewhere to go again today, haven't we? So we should probably... Um, yeah. Sorry, everyone. I'm wasting your time. Okay. Does anyone <laughs> know <laughs> any <laughs> answers? <laughs> <laughs> Someone done the whole crossword already. You can just read well, out the answers. I just had a look and I can't do it. Super any. helpful. Well, it's why have you chosen the pool one again? It's... Well, I like pool. Okay, we can do this. Right. Well, where should we start, Matt? Well, not one across for a start, because oh, I can't okay. do that one. Change reverse, having shaved my dog. Uh, um... <laughs> God. 
Yeah, sorry. Oh, really? Oh, that's it. It's a good song. Sort of. Nice. The man looks very happy that's singing that song. It, yeah, it's a very jolly tune. Should we try a different one? Mm. Sorry about this, everyone. We're obviously not in quite in the right frame of mind here. Let's try 12 across because it's two words and we like two word ones, don't we? Right. Hey, hello. Hello. Um, so, throw a tantrum when baby eats plant. Is that the one you're doing? Yes. Um, Look at all the people there. Yeah. Hooray. Right then. A baby eats a plant. Throw a tantrum. So probably throw, throw a tantrum would be the uh, the definition, right? Yeah. And then baby That's eats baby. plants. So you're probably looking for a word that means baby. Mm -hmm. So... If you're new and you don't know much about cryptic crosswords, generally speaking, a cryptic crossword um, clue is split up into two um, bits. There's a bit that's the definition and a bit that's like a kind of wordplay that will get you to the definition. So, for example, I can't give you a good example now because you haven't done any, but I will in a minute. Something hey, Kieran. up, I think is right. Something uh, up. Okay. Yeah. So, like, for, is, so if it is up, you could have pup for baby, for example. And then it could be like play up, but is lay you a plant, for example? Well, lay, plant the verb <coughs> to plant, I guess. You lay oh, yeah. something. Oh, okay, you? yeah, if you like, lay something down. Yeah. You're so totally that. right. And Chris, you said play earlier on, so well done you. And well done, Panthera. And, oh, I've just noticed that you've done that as well, Andy. <laughs> Great, we're off the mark. Hurrah. Hold on. Oh no. What? What? I'm dreading what sound is about to come up. It's nice, it's fun, it's Mario. Actually, that's a bit high pitched, isn't it's it? Very high pitched. <laughs> I love that one so much. No, that's for the end. <laughs> oh, that's for the end. Okay, I think I'll that should be the end music. Okay, so I am just very distracted. I'm no, so sorry. I got a new toy. Don't play a tune every time we get a clue because that's... I'm going to do that. Right. Um, Andy has 16. Okay, let's have a look at 16. Oh, well done, Andy. That's an clue. Okay, give us a second. Oh, okay. I, got, I know what that is. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Right, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. I got it, too. We've all got it. <laughs> That's easy for us to say, isn't it? Okay. Well, e Eccles, you know, you um, you, you had it first. So I think you, you get the, you know, I don't want to steal your thunder, mate. So you go for it. Yes, indeed. Battle of the Bulge. I will take that phone away from you, I swear. <laughs> So the definition here is Hitler's offensive, and I don't really actually. I must. Oh God, I always show my complete lack of knowledge about anything here. But that is a battle, right? Clearly, in the uh, Second World War, yeah. and struggle with weight can also be called the Battle of the Bulge. Uh, a Battle of the Bulge. Yeah. So there you go. It's a question mark because it's a bit, you know. Eh. But yeah, excellent. I'm sorry. Um, right. Hey Sarah, hello. Morning Sarah, I mean afternoon. <laughs> um, what is 13 down then? There we are. Stop, what are you, why are you making yourself laugh? It's funny. Okay. Right then, some oh, way down, through sorry. introductory pieces, music finally stops. Some way through. P pre. Yeah. Well. Preludes are introdu introductory oh, pieces. Um, oh, 
Oh, well, is it precludes? Prec because music finally could be C. Yes, yes, I like yeah. that. I like that. Oh, same device as last week. Okay, hold on two secs. Hooray! Panthera says that I'm right. That's good. <laughs> okay, so. I don't actually know how this fits the definition, but you've got introductory Stop. pieces, preludes. Hold on two seconds, though. Sorry. Preludes. And then music finally is C. So that's the wordplay bit. So so some way through. The definition is stops. Oh, I and see. And it's just saying that the C is some oh. way through the word pre preludes. Totally. Of course. The setter is Paul today, Kieran. Oh, no. <laughs> Paul's the best one. He's good, he's tricky. He does the alphabetical ones, doesn't he, as well? Or alphabetical ones. Alphabetical ones, they call them sometimes. Because they're yeah. part of a courier. Yeah. Oh. Shame we weren't doing this then. I know. Oh, well. We met him once, you know? We did. We did. Nice man. I right mean, then. I've, we've probably got lots of old Arakaria <laughs> puzzles around, but not that we could do online. Well, not that still... I could do offline, either. We have to... <laughs> yeah. But there will be some in the archive, won't there? If we felt like it. Let's right. have a look at this one. What, 17 then? Oh, yeah. Um, I appreciate that. Tar. To oh, cover yes. characters central to plot in newspaper. Tabloid? Oh, yeah. So, hold on. So, I appreciate that is... No, we haven't. we haven't got that far. Yeah. <laughs> to London, oh my god. I'm going to London next week twice. Anyone if anyone on this is in London, let me know. I'll come and see you. Uh so I'm sorry, we've just taken over this one, haven't we? But I think um you're you're quite right. Who is it? You just said that echoes, yeah, you're right. So tar again. Because it was tar, but last week, time wasn't yeah. it? So I appreciate so we're gonna do the wordplay bit first and get to the definition. So I appreciate that offer is tar. And then characters central to plot and then offer is bid. There, yeah. and then character central to plot is just like the L and the O for the middle of plot. Oh, there you go. Panthera is writing it out now. Nice one, Panthera. Yeah. Tabloid, and that is a word for a type of a newspaper. Sure is. Nice. Good. Rotten muck in gesture. Mm. You are providing a service. It's very helpful. I'm, um, I've just started making a little website for the um, for, for this, just with a list of like resources and things like that. So um, thank you for the people on um, Twitter that um, shared some of your uh, little, you know, lists of um, you know usual suspects and stuff like that, like little things like GI meaning soldier and AB mm. meaning and sailor and stuff like that. People shared a few links here last week, didn't they? I don't know if we managed to capture them. Did you? I didn't capture them. Mm. Actually, no, I did. I think I we'll got put some them somewhere. <laughs> but anyway, I got <laughs> some things. Oh, hello, Tom. Hey, Tom. Oh, hold on. Yes, we were talking. Rotten muck in gesture. No good, mm -hmm. says Eccles. Goo in nod. Yeah, so nod. So again, gesture is. Oh, no. So rotten is no good. And then you've got nod with goo inside it. So nod is the gesture, and muck inside it is goo. Goo. Nice. Yeah, they always do that though. When you immediately get locked, don't worry. Just um. Oh really? Yeah, you'll be all right. Just. I think that should be okay, shouldn't it? Is it just a temporary lock? Oh, I think with they try to do it with some new accounts to stop bots, don't they? They do it every time I set up an account. Yeah. <laughs> Hundred times a day. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. 24 across. Hold on, Tom. I, don't, I mean, you're not... We're just, that's the one we've just done. Yes, you're right. It, it's no good. You, you, I don't know why you're saying you, sh you shouted, Eccles, but you're all right. Uh, okay. So, yeah, nice one, Tom. Okay, so let's do this one. We've got loads of letters in this now. Vile profanities in opera lacking appeal. Eccles has a word that fits... Oh, nice. Also, Dan has a word of this. <laughs> okay. So, um... Blah, 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 blah. Okay, well, let's just write loads. Of so, profanities is oaths. Oh, yeah. And then... 
uh, let me. Lume, Lumi. Salome is the name of the opera. Um, lacking. Oh God. Okay. So oh my God. Okay. You're Why quite right. Me? So it's an anagrammy thing, right? It's not actually in there. So you've got so you've got oath. And then, oh, so is it SA for sex appeal then? SA for appeal. Oh, okay. But basically, it's an anagram of Salome. I never know how to say this. I'm so sorry. It's embarrassing, isn't it? But there you go. I do know the opera, but I don't know. I have nothing. Mm. Uh, uh, and oaths in the middle of an anagram of that thing. Not an anagram, just a, a straight spelling out of it, I think. But with SA oh, missing from see. the beginning. Yeah, like loam. Okay. You're absolutely right, Panthera. Thank you, Tom. Thanks for spelling it. Turn back on man while sleeping. A bed. Doesn't fit. No, I know. Um, I'm just saying that's a word for sleeping. Yeah. Just saying. Sorry. This could be a man's name, could it? Uh, I thought bead. See, that is a bed, but spinned around. I don't know what is bead, though. Why is it bead? Uh, Why is it bead, Chris? Are you just saying things, Chris? I don't know. I don't know the answer. Hmm. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I won't do that next uh, week, I promise. It's a one time only thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, something in a bed, yeah, right. So, you need a man inside bed, <laughs> <laughs> and then the definition is turn back, does that sound right? Uh, I was just thinking of bend, because you've got Ben, which is a man, right? Oh yeah, the, yeah, so bend. But then what's that got to do with... Turn is bend. Yeah. And the back, back of man, man is, is an N. N. Oh, Christ. Okay. In the bed is the wild Nice. Sleeping. Ooh. Okay, let's, let's move. Let's move away. Quick. Run away, run away. Okay. Hopefully we've... we've I know what the answer is to this. We've explained the one so far, Okay. Well, that one, I just playing along. Swift, just move away quickly and don't mention it. <laughs> I know what 80 down is because I looked at it and I got the answer in my head. Right. Um... So I'll be quiet. Oh, okay. Tom's got it too. <laughs> Ooh. Excellent. That's yeah. Nice. So it is indeed. So the uh, more intense is the uh, the uh, definition. So you're processing a ferric. Mm. Is so, so you can write C and then R there. So that's an anagram of ferric. And then oxide, ultimately, again, often you get these things, don't they? I mean, like the last or the first letter of a word. So ultimately, um, of oxide is E. Spells out fiercer, fiercer. which means more, more intense. Very good. Oh, my foot. Worry about itinerant pal lacking support. Um. <clears throat> I like that. Yes. Okay. Good. <laughs> um. so. Thank you, Eccles. Strapless. 
Stress is the definition of oh, lacking yeah. support. Oh yeah, that's brilliant. Okay. Stress is worry, and okay. itinerant pal. So it's an anagram of pal in the middle. Nice. So yeah, stress as you say there, and then anagram of pal. Definition is lacking support, like a strapless bra, right? Yeah. And then uh, worry about. So worry is kind of either side of the word stress is either side of. Itinerant is the anagram indicator. It just means that you've moved the letters of pal around a bit in the middle of stress to spell strapless. Whoop. Nice. Nice. Good clue. Good clue. Good solve. Well done, team. Ship. Oh, hold on. I need to go down a little bit here. You can't see it, can you? Don't, don't forget. Let me go back up again. Strip. Sti oh, God. Ship. Sorry. <laughs> Anyway, uh, ship, that which you can bet on having capsized. So it could be like, like you can bet on a horse or something like that, backwards, because capsized could have been backwards, especially in a sort of down clue. Yeah, it's kind of upside down. Um... Pony. Oh, and a sloop. Sloop. That's very good. Like you can bet on the pools. B. Yeah. Okay. So that's great. Nice one. Exactly, Chris. Mm. So ship is a definition, and a sloop is a kind of ship. That which you can bet on is pools having capsized, so turned upside down in this case. Um, makes sloop. Fantastic. Nice one, Tom. Why are the why are the football pools called the football pools? Is it because there's a, a pool of money that I you're betting so. for or competing for? Something found in kitchen. Okay, hold on, I've got to go back, back. See, this is, hold on a sec. Oh my god. Okay. Something found in kitchen. One legged pig hiding in empty cupboard. Mm. Funny because the word boar is inside the word cupboard. Yes. Ah, oh, the tote. Unusual surface. So the surface is like just the sort of words of the clue, right? The se sentence you're sort of making to sort of. Yeah, the surface yeah. reading has to make sense, but. It... <coughs> Excuse me. Bless you. But some are more interesting than others. So, chopping block. I'm just saying so... things that are in the kitchen at this point that fit in. So you know, don't <laughs> don't quote me Ch on that. Chopping block or chop. Yeah, I, I do like that. Yeah. Um, I mean, you've got a pig. Oh, hold on, yeah. Is it like C and D? <coughs> chopping board. But board. then you've got just board and cupboard. But yeah, totally. C something D, absolutely. Board is a pig. But you've also got... So no, hold on. No, I don't think board is pig. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's right, Tom. So... I guess it's hopping is one legged. Oh, hopping. Right? So hopping is one legged. <laughs> and then empty cupboard is D, C, C and D. D. Like, yeah. and I do not know. Hold on. I'm so sorry. And I'm going to just I'll copy that. And I'll put that there. I'm so sorry, but I'm not sure how to say that name, and I don't want to just not talk to you. Okay, so, yeah, uh, yeah, everyone's just getting ahead of me now. And then boar is pig, and that's something found in the kitchen. Genius. Love it. Lovely. It's a shame that the the clue had to contain the, board. the word board, really. It didn't have to. It, well, no, exactly. It's a shame it did. It's just slightly Confusing. off... Oh, rain. Okay, cool. Thank rain, you. Cool. Hello, rain. Um, right then. Brilliant. So Hi, rain. We have now opened up the top bit of the top no. left corner a bit because we've got yeah. 
half. But can we? Do in there. We don't have to go there. I like to do like the whole half. Like we usually do. Like I don't mean we usually do, but we tend to. And I quite find it quite satisfying when we get a half bit, a diagonal. But we can totally just um go up there if you like. Should yeah, we go to one across? Mm. British PM's predecessor. Is that Cameron? Well. It is Cameron. 23 I down, clue is invisible. Talking about what? Um, yeah, that's the problem, you see. I'll have to scroll in a minute, but. In the... we... Oh, hold on. Let's do one across with there, and we'll go back. Throw drink over Labour leader. After. <laughs> Sorry. Well, after British, we've got a B there, which suggests that that's that part of the clue. Um, oh. Yeah. Throw. It could be bamboozle. Oh, it's bamboozle. Um, Do you know what it is? I'm, I tell you now, because that's yeah, booze. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Very nice. Do you remember bamboozle on CFAX or uh, what, what was the other one called? Yeah. That was great. <laughs> okay. Bamboozle. So. Things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Teletext, yeah. yes. Yeah, sorry, I knew it would be that. I'm sorry. I'm a cheap one. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah, you're right, Tom. It is AM. Um, so. Throw, throw is the um, is the definition here. So if you're thrown by something, you can be bamboozled by it. So it's drink over Labour leader. So it's the word booze there, and then inside it is L, which is the leader of the word Labour, the first letter of Labour. And then at the back here, you're after. So booze all goes after. British is just B, and then PM's predecessor, as as morning comes before afternoon, is AM. So it's bamboozle. And now we've got a word that begins with Z. <laughs> Boom! Goody. Zit. <laughs> Zithers. Mm. Oh, it is! Zithers. Oh, God, sorry, I showed it out. I apologise. I know it's not fair on the on well, the stream. As long as we explain I, it. I agree it with so. Eccles, who got that before me, I'm sure, mm -hmm. but that was in delay. Um, so, spot is it for the lady is hers. Zith hers, zith, 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 zith. nice one, Dan. Nice one, Tom. I love it when they all roll in like that. Nice. Everyone's got it. Super. Sarah, are we going too fast? By the way, I feel like we're going fast, but I hope everything's making sense. So again, I'll go back over this one. So uh, spots. So the definition is instruments. So that's it, this, that's the kind of musical mm -hmm. instrument. And then spot is, is it, and for a lady would be hers. Super duper. Oh, I'm a bit tired now, actually. Okay. Just going to have a stretch, hold on. Yeah. Oh, Hello. Right. Fill in, Rach. Yes, Matt's left the room temporarily. So I'll look at eight across. Um, don't allow supporter to see player. Um, ban. No. Yeah. I know, we've got such a good microphone, you can hear our, our whispers. <laughs> That um, is the cheapest microphone that money can buy, isn't it? It is, it but it works. It's like five fine. quid from Amazon or something. Well, it was ten pounds. I'll tell you. I'll tell you so. It's five pounds. I bought it for my my other purposes, but <clears throat> now it's coming into its own. Um, yes, ban <laughs> something. Um, Hi everyone, I'm back. Don't allow. You're saying that's ban. Yeah. A player. So the definition could be a player of an instrument or of a sport. Or cigarette. 
What's a banjoist? Banjoist. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's very funny. Very stupid. That's very funny. No, no, no. Well, that's the good thing about um, cryptic crosswords, isn't it? That's where the laugh comes from sometimes. Yeah. You were saying before they need to be funny. But normally it's n- n- you don't get to the point of saying out loud a <laughs> non-existent word. There was a good thread on Twitter about, you know, words that you always pronounce wrong because you, you never heard them aloud, you just read them. I don't think banjoist came up there. Banjo, now I'm saying banjoist now. <laughs> banjo. Banjoist. Okay, cool. That, this, I can't upload this to YouTube now, I've put too many things in it. Right then. That's awesome. Sorry, Chris, I, I can't help it. I've got, a, mm. I've got an app on my phone that does noises and... So, um, what's the T down then? <sighs> That's interesting. I'm going to stop saying it. I mean, Majesty, surely... Majesty. I presume. Majesty. Well, um, let's see. Drug leaders assumed great powers. So, jest is a joke. Nice. Uh, May is... A, Leader. <coughs> Currently. I'll give as you. We, as we record this. Yeah. Well, yeah. And um, great power is majesty. You'll miss her when she's gone. Bloody won't. You'll be like, thank God well, we've got Boris Johnson. Uh, mm, admittedly. <laughs> thank God for that. options. Uh, Finally. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, Herbie own. Well, that is fair. Yeah, I think a lot well, of people yeah, did, totally actually. I am 52. One, <laughs> You're never. I always thought Kieran was a, you know... Oh my, I was going to say. No. I wasn't going to say that because... I wasn't... That's not... That's your words. It's true. You, you, you don't make many Kierans that are sort of our age or above, actually. Kieran Knightley. Kieran. <laughs> <laughs> Joke leader. Joke leader. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, poor old. <laughs> anyway, I think we've lost a lot my, of people now. We've lost all of our, uh, our our massive Boris Johnson yeah, fan listeners. Misled and my from misled for misled was my misled. Yeah, I thought like I knew the word misled, but I didn't associate it with the word written down because I thought it, it there was a whole other word called misled that meant something else. I would say Calippo. No, I say Calippo, and everyone says Calippo. You always laugh at me when I say Calippo. Well, that's not the same sort of thing, though, is it? Like a brand name, you could, you could argue different ways of saying it, especially if it's not an English word. I don't know who Karen Fallon is. Is that a sports person? Pipette or pipette? Well, yeah. that's a good question. Yes. Well, Pip. Pipette. Well, Pip. Creator. Pipette. Pipette. One upset around Hades. I mean, you'd think it would be an anagram of A or I around. Mm. Eggcorns. It's not quite eggcorns, though, is it? Because that's that? not the things where you've read it wrong. Eggcorns is more you've similar to Mondegreen, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. Edison. Oh, yes, that's true. He's a creator, like an inventor. Oh, very good. Hades is this. I would not. Do you know what? I would not have got that because I would not have thought of that. But now you say it, it rings a bell. Okay, so the definition is creator. So Edison, who created and invented things, and then one upset is E, and then O N there. So that's like an anagram. And then Hades is this. That's another word for hell or... Yeah. Oh, oh. Can everyone see that? Well, I know what that is for a start. For the first bloody word, looking at the, <laughs> looking at the things. Oh, yeah. I think. Well, I agree. Not many things it could be. I agree, Chris. Good spring onion, right, why is it there? So, let's, let's that. The issue is sun, right? 
Yes? Um, yes. Panic at first is P. So inspiring, it's like breathing in, taking it. So you've got sun around the edges. Panic at first is P. Beetle, reportedly, beginning to nibble. Oh, God. On one. I've got confused now. Oh, take care, mate. See you, Andy. Bye, Andy. Ringo is a beetle. Oh, my God. Yeah, Ringo. Ring. O. Oh. You're very clever to get that. I've completely forgotten that. Reportedly. Oh, yeah, everybody. Report. So, Beetle report. Oh, no. Beginning to nibble. Is it N I? Mm. On one. On one. So, you've got on and another I there. Everyone that agrees that, that uh, Ringo is a beetle. I've forgotten the Ringo. I feel like an idiot now. Ringo is a beetle. Yes. Oh, beetle reportedly. You're film because reportedly, because it's not, it's maybe not a spell oh, no. beetle, right? What? Sorry. What film? Well, where everyone has forgotten the Beatles except for one man. Oh, I thought you meant that film yet, that we watched yesterday. <laughs> no. The film called Yesterday. The film called Yesterday, which we haven't watched. Well, no, exactly. That's why I was very confused. Mm. Yesterday, exactly. Well, that's good. I didn't. Qu I'll be honest with you there. I got a little bit lost at the end about what that was. But I'm going to say that it's definitely spring onion. You've got yeah. sun is is offspring, right? Issue. Issue. Mm. And then panic at first is P. Beta reportedly is okay. Ringo. And then then I've got beginning to nibble. Yeah. So on good. one. So what, how's that work? So you've got N I O, and you're going to get to that from beginning to nibble on. But with the nibble is N on So on is is just on and the one is I. Yeah, what? I think What? I think Panthera is kind of So yeah, I've got yeah, Sun Ringo and then N begins nibble and then on I. Oh, because it's the O N from the Sun. O -N from oh God, sorry. I, yeah, I, I think completely if missed the O. If you don't like to overanalyze, then Chris, cryptic crosswords are not the thing, are they? If you want to finish it, it's quite a good idea sometimes. If you think, well, that's yeah, definitely right. I do no, that sometimes. Got, so I'll, I'll, I'm just going to leave it. Oh, actually, Matt, why did I say that? I think I, I think it's good to overanalyze in this context. Yeah, he was talking to us. Is what is what he's saying. Anyway, anyway, we probably have analysed that one. I think we can move on Enough. now from spring onion. Enough. People, oh, it's a, it's a, it's a something. People making peanuts, heading for insolvency, in opening story. Mm. Well then, people making peanuts could be like a uh, pork pie. Could be pork pie. Oh, I don't know. No idea why it would be pork pie. There's no reason why it would be pork pie at all. Unless pork pies are made story, out of people. A story is a pork pie. Oh! Isn't it? It's a lie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, very clever. I'm clever. Well, why is it. Well, I'll tell you why. Hold okay. on. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm going to write pork pie in. Oh, pork. Pork pie. People. Poor? Poor? Yeah. It is, exactly. Pork pie. Porkies. But why did you come to pork pie? Because it fitted. You were thinking about... No, I just looked at it and it looked Charlie like... Charlie Brown peanuts or something. No, 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 I looked at it and I thought, wait, well, you could put pork pie in there. Oh, I see, okay. I just shouted it out, sorry. <laughs> That's the way. And I was right. People... People making peanuts could be poor, but... KP. 
People making peanuts are KP. Yeah, Panthera. Nice one, Panthera. Yeah. They literally do. Well, they don't make them. Do they? Well, they grow they, them. They, yeah. They probably don't even grow them. They probably buy them. But they do put them in packets and sell them. And oh! Is an opening. opening is a paw. Heading, heading for insolvency is I. I. In what? In the paw, yeah. Where's the R gone? The from? I is in oh, yeah. the word paw. Oh and my god. In... Well, these are getting crazy. Okay, so, and add salt, very true. Yummy, yummy salt. Okay. Oh, nice one, Panther. This is good. Panther is explaining it as we go along, which is. You're very. It's very kind. Uh, okay, so I need to go down here. Squares introduced to fashion in essence. Oh, well, I know that. It's in there. It's a hidden word clue. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. I should explain this. Squares is nines, because they're square numbers, right? And then mm. introduced to fashion in essence. It's just like the number is, is, is hidden in there. Can you see my pointer when I do this? Hello. Um, Can you see my? I'm pointing at things with my um my little pointer on my computer, and I would assume that you could see it, but of course you can't, can you? I could see it earlier. Anyway, the point is, it's inside. It's the N from fashion, and then the in from in, and then the ES from essence. Nice one, Sarah. Okay. Awesome. See, we're getting there. Cursor is the word. Yes. Okay, so let's just take a moment and think, are there any clues? Are there any themes, rather? Mm. And the answer is no. Not that I can see, no. <laughs> I think we should... Crashed. Yeah, have I crashed the whole of Steam, everyone? Well, it's definitely not me. <laughs> right, Rachel's, Rachel's logged into her account and looking at it, so we're going to have a look at you. Live. Beep, boop. What's Dan said there? A refresh helps. A refresh helps. Yes, refresh helps. Nice one, Dan. Nice one, Chris. Um, hello. Is our sound back as well? Can you hear me? I'll just test the sound. good does that work just press play okay, okay we're good okay viable plan oh bloody prime ad sorry yeah sorry that is quite loud I'm sorry rat <sighs> Viable plan <laughs> to trap pub rodent. How dare you? <laughs> I am forty three years old. <laughs> Kieran, you did some good um, anagrams this week, Kieran. By the way, I enjoyed yeah, it a lot. Good gopher. Okay, so gopher is a rodent. Viable is a goer. Nice. Mm -hmm. And then pH is public house for pub. That is a rodent. So that is the definition. Rodent with goer outside pH for public house. Awesome source. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Um, right. I like the look of five down. Getting on. This setter, that's Paul, or it could be me, yeah. is flipping balmy. So it could be M. Or it could for be me. another setter. Me flipping. He always says that, Kira, don't worry. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, yeah. it could be. Yeah. Not embarking, what's the other thing? What, what's it? Embording? No. Well, yeah, it is embarking, isn't it? Barking. Barking. Is, 
Is that, that what embarking bark. means? I thought that meant getting off. Does well, that you mean you getting embark on? embark onto the ship, don't you? I think that's getting on, yeah. Disembark. Oh, to God. get off. Oh, well, I got it then. Well done, me. <laughs> All right. So, uh, so getting on is embarking. This setter is just the word me, because he's referring to himself. Flipping. So, me backwards is E-M. And then bar me, another word for that is barking. If we like to use that kind of language. Uh, That's quite a don't. specifically British English expression, probably, isn't yes. it? I don't know. Barking mad. So there you go, barking. Oh, this is great. We're doing great. Twelve forty-six. Here we go. Mm -hmm. We've noticed that we um we tend to get up to about an hour. We were saying, weren't we? That we that's about yeah. how long it's taking us these days. It's good for Paul actually for me. Again, if you watch other, there are some YouTubers that do crosswords that just came through these things. It's amazing. I did do a Monday Guardian Cryptic in half an hour once at work. Yes. Was Tom that is a, no, that wasn't <laughs> even with Tom helping me. <laughs> well, actually it might have been. He might have done some already. <laughs> <laughs> right then. Sturdy case. More flexible parts sliding around. I don't know the answer to that. Oh. Any idea, anyone? We've got some of the world's top crossword brains in our chat room. Mm -hmm. Yes, trunk, good. So it could be pos suit. Suit, the suitcase. No, I can't remember. Yeah. They're there somewhere, yeah. Chris. I... <laughs> Sigh with Slytherin. Slithery. Sturdy um, case. Oh. oh, my God. Very good. Oh, really? That's quite late. No, that is late, isn't it? I always assumed that was an old kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, nice one, Kieran. You're an awesome genius. Mm -hmm. So, sturdy case is just S and Y. That's a sneaky clue. Mm -hmm. And then more flexible is lither. And then, I suppose, the parts means, because it's kind of parting the S and the Y, and you're sticking lither in there. Yes. Sliding around is slithery. That's very, very good solving. A very good cluing. Good, yeah. yeah, nice one, Kieran. Style of Drake with cuss. Hmm. Well... A drake is duck. a male duck. I don't know if that's going to help here. It could be Francis. an anagram. Yeah. Oh, yeah, drake with. Could be, couldn't it? Mm. Okay, go on, Kieran. Kieran's a crossword guy. Uh... Oh, nice. Okay. <coughs> <laughs> Duck's ass. Very good. Okay. Very good. It is not an anagram. No. Very, very good. Very, very good, Tom. So, style. Duck's ass is a haircut, right? Or a duck, kind of a, yeah. kind of like a, it's like a teddy boy sort of thing, right? Yeah. And then Drake is duck. And then Drake and cast is arse. Duck's arse. <laughs> First, last. So, on to 11 across. First. Which makes me think it might be earliest, but don't tell anyone. What? Last, of course, is later, however. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm st I, I haven't quite got my head around why... Duck's ass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get my head around the duck's ass, but... So, look. It's, it's, it is a partial anagram, is it? No. Oh, no, okay. So, duck's ass is a, hair, is a hairstyle, right? A drake is a duck and an ass is a cuss. <coughs> okay. It's a 
style of Drake would be ducks. Blogs for Drake. Yeah, alright, I get it. You sure? Yep. I agree with Tom there that is later is an anagram. Later. It's earliest. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> Don't tell Rachel, she can't hear me. Is it also an anagram? It's also an anagram. Oh, no, what? I said it was an anagram. Shit, you're right. I apologise. Oh, sorry, everyone. I, I apologise profusely for not spying that. What a tit. Okay. You're right. It's an anagram of Drake and Cuss. Styled to make Duck's ass, but all... Oh, he's very clever, isn't he? Typical Paul, as you said, Tom. like a double clue. Last, of course, is later, however. So however is an anagram indicator for some reason. And then E is later anagrammed spell... Earliest. Earliest. Yeah. So however first. is you know, however you and it, lit, it's exactly written out however in a Okay, um, point made. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> Thank God you're here. <laughs> oh we're doing I'm, I'm conf I can almost smell that packet of mini cheddars that I'm not allowed to eat until I finish the puzzle because it's too noisy. <laughs> right then. Join in search. Interesting for a short while. Oh. Um. Well, a short while could be. Oh, that no, that doesn't make any sense, does it? That would be awful. Um. No. Uh. So it could just be join, like stitch or something like that. Yeah. Or zip or something in search. Interesting for a short yeah. while. Something ish. Hmm. We do a different one then. I had in my head that um, oh mesh, nice. I was thinking that join could be. Something English. Join would be sign up. That'd be clever, wouldn't it? Just saying, uh, it's yeah. not. But sign, sign up. Sign up. <laughs> Would be join. Sign up. I can do nine across if you'd like, says Panther. Okay, hold on a second. Oh, where are we? I like your idea of mesh, uh, Dan. Right, so Let's come back to that. Panther can so do nine, nine across. across. Oh, hold on, we might have a. Okay. See now you can. S I can see my little pointer there. That was very confusing. Okay, Panther, go for it. Let's do nine across. Hmm. Nice. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah, dice is bones. So, yeah, if you can't read the writing on the screen for some reason, Panther is saying O equals old. Dice is bones. That's another word for dice, bones. And then alongside B for black, garment is bodice. Okay, let's try six across. Oh, God. Hmm. Oh, God. having saved my dog.
Undo. Change reverse. Mm -hmm. Change. Ch oh, God. <laughs> What's that then? Hold on. Undo. 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 Change reversed. Having shaved my dog. Dog is. Yeah. Yeah, so shaved dog is D O. Right. Um. Where's the on coming from? Sorry. Oh, okay. You're just are you just saying things, Dan? Okay, no worries. Cool. Well, shaved dog is definitely. Yeah. So maybe reverse just re. Yeah. No. Yeah. Absolutely. You spitball, mate. Should we see where we get to with six down? Yeah. Change is modify. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, yeah, totally. Nice one, Kieran. Okay, well, you got the last bit there, Dan. So oh, no, I've written Fido down here now. Hold on, nobody gets six down before I've got a chance to look at it. Hold on, my brain's... Oh god! <laughs> I'm so excited. We're gonna hit exactly an hour again, mate. So Fido. So let's just explain it. So change, reverse. So modify is change. Reverse, modify backwards. Having shaved M and Y off of that makes Fido very good. Okay. Oh, I see what this is now. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So faddish. Yes. Um, Join is add, as Dan says. In search, so to fish for something is to search. Faddish. Right. We've done it. We've done it. Well done, everyone. Can I play the thing now? Yeah. Prepare yourself. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! See, that feels really, um, you know, appropriate now. Yeah, well, you should have saved them for the end in the first place. Sorry. It was very good, thank you. Well, I'm just. Oh, just it was playing, very nice having the music. <laughs> well, you know. Yeah. End of the level. Now we have ding, to ding, go ding. and do a, a harder level. Don't be like that, Kieran. <laughs> do a harder crossword. Oh no. <laughs> I mean, sort of jump through. They have to jump through the little ribbon at the end to get as high as I can. Never do that. I know. Well then, well done, everyone. We did it. <laughs> yes. Go back to see how the the cricket is doing, everyone. Oh yeah, um, everyone, go and look if, at the cricket. If you want to. It's very important, you know, everything about cricket, so you can help us with crosswords. Because I'm not going to watch it. So no. I would. I really I'm want to watch. I really well, want to like cricket. To I really do. No. It's like snooker, isn't it? I, I quite like. I mean, right. I really, I, I enjoy snooker. The only game I can watch, and football sometimes. They're insects. You think they're crickets? Uh, oh, I see mm -hmm. what you did there. Right then. Okay. Well, thank you very much, everyone. We've done it exactly an hour again, as predicted. Yeah. Well done, us. <laughs> I don't know how we do that. Anyway. Um, Goodbye, everyone, and hopefully, I think, Rachel, we've looked at the calendar, we're about the same way. I think we're back normal time next same week. Same time, same yeah. place, hopefully. If not, we'll let you know. Do look at Twitter, hashtag Cryptic Sunday, for updates, or um, just, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Just, I don't know. We'll try and let yeah, people we'll, know we'll, by we'll, some you'll means. Yeah, we'll work it out, don't worry. Anyway, cool. Take care. See you. Bye. Hold on. I'm gonna, I, I, I need to find the button. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> Look at that. Oh god. Uh Yeah, you too you too, Sarah. Take care everyone. Oh, okay, Tom, yes, cool. Enjoy that. Is that the festival, Tom Puddle? Mm. Nice. Okay. Bye. Love you, bye.